Now, another oil company in the news this Thursday, Shell, beating estimates on net income but missing on adjusted profit, just as BP did on Tuesday. So for an investor's take on those numbers, we're now joined by the CEO of SVM Asset Management, which has around £12 million invested in Shell. His name is Colin McLean. He's live with us from Edinburgh now. Thanks very much uh, indeed for speaking to us. I actually wanted to start by asking you, Shell last year managed to reverse a seven-year drop in production after starting projects in Brazil, Nigeria. Uh, will they be able, are you confident that Shell will be able to boost production this year? Uh, yes, they've got some major projects uh, coming on this year, starting up, and indeed the outlook over the next uh, few years, uh, three, three or four years, is for pretty strong uh, growth from what's been a pretty substantial investment uh, over the past few years. So this year should see that start to come to fruition. Are you concerned at all about Shell's relative dependence on gas over oil in the portfolio? I, no, I, I think uh, investors recognise the, the, the differences and also that Shell has got slightly more downstream exposure and in a recovering global economy that, that's probably a tractor for recovery. But I think what, what does mark it out from the other oil majors just now is this much heavier capex it's made and the fact that it's got very strong cash flow growth coming few, through over the next few years. So I think as, if investors start to look a bit more at cash flow characteristics and dividends, I think Shell will, will look attractive. So Shell will benefit from higher cash flow? Uh, yes, the, the, it will start to reap the rewards from uh, the, these major projects. It's got a, a gas to liquids uh, project, Pearl in Qatar, uh, coming on, and uh, so, some other major ones as well. So the, the cash flow is going to pick up pretty strongly from, really from this year onwards. And how do you rate Peter Vosa? Well, I think it's still quite early days to assess him, but uh, as, as you mentioned, this is coming in from quite a, a long seven-year period of decline. So, so far, year-on-year -year production is up, admittedly, from, from low numbers 12 months ago. And uh, I think the, the investment, the cash flow, the dividends are certainly what investors want to see. So I think investors are happy just now with, with how things are progressing. So what kind of dividend do you think would be appropriate for Shell to pay? Well, I think Shell is capable of growing its dividends at 5% or more per annum over the next three or four years. I think with the cash flow coming through, that would probably be the right, right balance. Uh, investors recognise more capex is, is needed. But uh, I think to see uh, investments growing perhaps at that sort of level, I think, would make the shares pretty attractive. Does BP reintroducing the dividend at half the previous level give Shell the opportunity to reduce its payout looking ahead? No, I, I think the, the fact that uh, they're not indicating very strong dividend growth indicate that they don't see that it's, it needs to, to uh, be increased a lot maybe to catch up with, with BP. But I think dividend yield is going to be quite an important part of the, the value of the shares and the attraction of them. And so I, I think Shell will need to you know, keep the same dividend, uh, need to see some dividend growth, perhaps 5% or more. And I think it now has different characteristics than, than BP with cash flows improving and BP still having some business risks. Colin McLean, Chief Executive Officer from SVM Asset Management. Good to talk to you. Thanks very much.